So in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a budget electric skateboard solution that's great for travel and taking on the airplane. As I mentioned before in a previous video, I've been looking for the perfect electric skateboard travel solution. Something portable with a detachable battery so that I can take it on the airplane with me. For those of you that don't know, many airline carriers these days won't let you take on an electric skateboard on the plane unless you can do one, disconnect the lithium battery from the board, and two, the battery doesn't exceed 100 watt hours or 160 watt hours if you get permission from the airlines in advance. So in my search, I came across Meepo. I contacted them to see if they could send me their lightest board, the Campus 2 along with a detachable, flight compatible travel battery. They agreed to send it to me and I just got it a few days ago. Oh, and before I continue, I wasn't paid for this video. Alright, so let's first review the board specs and then I'll explain more about the customized travel solution for the Campus 2. Alright, so here's the Campus 2. The board itself is 81 centimeters long and has an awesome old school feel with a directional cut, a fishtail at the back, and even a dope pinstripe styling running along the bottom. Smaller and lighter than most electric boards, weighing only 5.5 kilograms, has one brushless motor with a top speed of 30 kilometers an hour. Thick 83 millimeter orange wheels, installed standard with 153 watt Tesla battery, which is over the standard 100 watt flight restriction limit. But that's why it can get an advertised total range of 21 kilometers. Fully charges in two hours. The power button is located on the side of the battery case with four LEDs indicating the battery life, and on the other side, a charging port. All right, so now let's talk about the remote. So it fits nicely in your hand like this. Press the thumb controller up to go forward and back to engage the regenerated brakes. You can easily tap the power button to cycle through four different speed modes from beginner to expert, just like this. And it has a reverse control button. Pretty simple, right? All right, let's get to the good part. Let's talk about the travel battery option. So Meepo sell a flight compatible travel battery option on their website, but it's intended for the other boards, not the Campus 2, so it's a different size. Meepo kindly customized this 99 watt hour battery for me so it would fit the default battery case on the Campus 2. And as you can see, it's just under one watt hour of flight restrictions. All right, so let me show you how to change out this battery in just a few minutes. Remove these six screws on top of the board, holding the battery case. Once the battery case is loose, flip it over. Simply remove the smaller screws around the case like this. Take off the lid. You'll see two connectors. Disconnect both cables and you're done. Replace it with this custom flight battery. What's nice is Meepo provided some extra cushion foam to keep the smaller battery in place. Put the lid back on and reattach the screws. That easy. Just remember that before you get on your flight to leave the larger battery at home and separately carry this smaller battery on board with you. So if this battery option is something that you guys want, let me know in the comment section and Meepo said that they'll produce this battery if enough people actually ask for it. That's pretty cool for a company to do, right? All right, so now let's talk about what I love about the board. The motor is super quiet, which is perfect for riding in the city. I want to always avoid scaring people with annoying motor noises while riding the board. The board automatically powers on when you push start. Also, the brushless motors allow you to push kick it like a regular skateboard even when the battery dies. And the kicktail also makes it easier to turn in tight spots. The skin-friendly grip tape at the top of the board is soft and foamy, perfect for carrying around. Also, I love that they included some skateboard tools with the purchase. And it even comes as a wall hanger for the board. All right, now let me show you how the board rides. So, starting is smooth on the speed setting mode 3, while max speed setting mode 4 is a bit more aggressive. As for the regenerated braking, the brakes are a little bit sudden for beginners, but I think with a little bit of practice, you should be able to get used to it. Meepo advertises that the board can climb inclines up to 10 degrees. This incline is about 7 degrees. I didn't have any issues going up with a bit of speed, but when starting uphill, I couldn't generate much speed afterwards with a single hub motor. Also, I found better climb performance is setting it on max speed mode 4 as it has more torque and acceleration, even though mode 3 tops out at the same speed. And I also tested the brakes on this small hill, starting at a low speed. Applying full brakes on the controller slowed down the board, but not even close enough to being able to stop it. So, I recommend practicing your foot stops before bombing down any hills, as the one hub motor brakes won't be sufficient. Now, the 83mm wheels are perfect for flat roads, and pretty decent at absorbing small bumps and cracks on a normal road. So brick cracks on a path like this are definitely rideable but you feel the shock on your feet the entire ride. Plus, the board itself being as short as it is is not as flexible as you can see from me jumping on the board. 
So again, more of the road noise will be transferred to your feet. So in conclusion, I think this is a great travel board solution for taking on the airplane. It's not plug and play, but with a few screws, you're good to go. Maybe in the future, they'll have a quick release battery feature. But all in all, it's a great board for cruising from A to B. Again, it's not the fastest board or can go the longest distances, but you don't really need that in the city. The kicktail though is perfect for the city, which allows you to maneuver through tight spots. I also think this board would be great for beginners because it has several different speed modes, but fun for regular riders because it also has advanced modes. But one thing to mention is the board only has one motor so definitely don't recommend for hilly areas. But if you're planning to cruise around the city with minor hills then this should be no problem. Oh and the board is noted as weatherproof but the electronics don't seem to be sealed off 100% so I would say maybe a, like a splash or two would be okay but definitely stay away from the rain. At least if you want to keep this board for a long time. Oh and I forgot to mention it's easy to wear on a backpack but it will get heavy over an extended period of time. Maybe in the future Meepo can make even a lighter board package. Overall, it's a super fun board to ride. I love carving with it. And most importantly, I look forward to taking it on my next flight. All right, so that concludes the video. If you liked it, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys know of any other flight compatible boards, let me know in the comment section. And if you wanna see more of my adventures in Tokyo or Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.